In the previous videos, we saw somatic recombination in the heavy chain locus and the light chain locus in the B cell, developing in the bone marrow. So again, what is somatic recombination or VDJ recombination? It involves these gene segments being cut and pasted together in the DNA of the B cell, so making a permanent change to the DNA of a B cell. And this happens in the developing B cell in the bone marrow. Now, we didn't talk about uh, the enzymes involved in this process, but I want to introduce that to you now. So these enzymes get to work during B cell development in the bone marrow, and it will act on both the heavy chain gene and the light chain gene. The, and again, we call those gene areas the locus. So we're introducing an enzyme called the VDJ recombinase. It's an enzyme that's going to recombine DNA. This enzyme is made of uh, two significant proteins called RAG1 and RAG2. And sometimes we'll just refer to these as the RAG enzymes. Uh, and these are, uh, stand for recombination activating genes. You don't have to worry too much about the name, but these are enzymes that cut and paste DNA together. So in a B cell that's developing in the bone marrow, you've got the VG, V gene segments, the D, gene segments, and the J gene segments. And there are many of them. And as we talked about during somatic recombination, um, random ones are chosen and cut and pasted together. And it's by the RAG enzymes. So how do the RAG enzymes know where to cut and paste? And the answer is that there are these DNA sequences right next to these gene segments call, and these gene, DNA sequences are called recombination signal sequences. They are landing sites for the RAG enzymes. And you're going to find them on the three prime end of the V gene segments. You will also find them in the D right upstream or the five prime end of the D gene segments. So when we talk about the randomness of antibody diversity, it's due to these enzymes randomly landing on one of the RSSs, that's what, we understand, that's what we call these, of one of the V gene segments. So we said there are about 40 of them. So the RAG can land on one of 40, and it's going to cut when it lands there. So the RAGs will land on an RSS next to a V gene segment. They'll land on an RSS next to a D gene segment. And when they land, they're going to cut, right? So let's look at that. They cut there, and right next to the V, and they cut there, right next to that D, no matter which one they landed on. So what's gonna to happen to the DNA between the two? It's gonna disappear, it's gonna go away. So you've permanently edited your DNA. That's what happens when you're developing B cells in the bone marrow. And what the RAG enzymes are going to do is that they're going to stitch together the V gene segment and the D gene segment. So this is, that was somatic recombination. It was accomplished by the VDJ recombinase, or also known as the RAG enzymes. So there are more RSSs, right? There are RSSs uh, at the three prime end of the D gene segment, and there are RSSs in front of, or at the five prime end of the J gene segments. And so there are six Js, and the RAGs are going to land on a random one, uh, land on a random RSS, and what are they gonna do? They're going to cut. They're gonna cut the DNA and they're going to stitch it together. So what you're going to end up with is a V gene segment hooked up to a D gene segment, hooked up to a J gene segment. And this occurred using the RAG enzymes. This happens in the heavy chain locus, hooking up the VDJ. In the light chain locus, it hooks up a V to a J. But it's the same thing. There are RSSs for combination signal sequences that are right next to the gene segments. And RAGs randomly land on RSSs. I'm gonna pick this one, I'm gonna pick that one, and stitch them together. So when your B cells are developing their bone marrow, the RAG enzymes are allowing DNA to be cut and pasted together to make a functional uh, open reading frame for the heavy chain and the light chain genes.